Well, hello there, Cancer. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we are doing your mid-July tarot reading. So this is good from now until mid-August. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details about any obstacles on your path or advice that Spirit has for you. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. It does help to get my message out to more people. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Let's Let's see what you have on the horizon. Skunk spirit, know your worth and surrendering to the journey. Release control. Okay, so, you know, we have the north node um, transiting into Aries on Monday, July 17th. I'm actually putting those um, readings up, specific readings for you um, this weekend. But here's the thing. You see the skunk spirit. It's, you know, know your worth. But look, it's the number 54. Um, reduce 54. 5 plus 4 is 9. And nines are about like that nine of wands energy, right? Just the wounded warrior. <laughs> You've been through the ringer. Let's put it that way. You've been through the ringer. And it's partly perhaps because in some way you were trying to either control your emotions or trying to control a situation or or feeling controlled by somebody else, right? It's this energy of just a releasing, you know, uh, uh, giving it up to your angels, giving it up to your spirit guides, just saying, you know, I'm at the nine of wands. I've learned of my worth. I no longer have to, it's almost like an energy of trying to convince somebody to see things your way um, or, you know, like overextending yourself in situations or relationships. You know, this could be at work, just like working super hard, overworking, trying to um, garner some appreciation, <laughs> some recognition from your boss, right? Or from your clients or whoever. Um, it's uh, this energy of why am I putting myself through this with the nine of ones energy? It's like, why am I doing this? Kind of almost understanding that in some way you're doing it to yourself um, and you're coming to the end of this lesson. You're at the nine, tens are completion. And it's a lesson about understanding your worth, not over giving in situations, helping yourself <laughs> to you know, take back some of your time, your energy. Um, when we do that, when we kind of surrender, the other interesting thing is that we also release control of the whole situation. You know, it says release control. It's about understanding, okay, I can't change this other person. I can't change the way they think. I can't change how they perceive me, right? And it's a, an energy of why do I even care? <laughs> you know, just stepping into that. I know who I am. I know my worth and I'm moving forward on my journey, understanding that the whole purpose of this situation or relationship was to help you to come into a greater understanding of who you are and understanding your worth, understanding your gifts, your talent, your energy, your love, the light that you have. Um, and it's kind of like, okay, I'm getting in my boat and I'm getting ready to share it with somebody else. You know, that could mean you're, you're looking to move jobs or careers or relationships. You could be moving away from family members, going towards looking for a new soul tribe. With that, Aries, North Node transit into Aries, we are stepping into an independence for the next 18 months, a, a sense of independence, of wanting our independence, of going in the direction that is most aligned with what we desire, of what our soul is calling us to do. No longer worrying about how others perceive us or wanting their validation, wanting their, their love or cherishing, you know, it, it's kind of this energy of, I feel like you have done, it's almost an energy of standing on your head and, you know, trying to do every single tr trick. And I don't mean trick, but like, you know how a child, like a young child, like three, four, five years old will learn how to do some tricks in order to get attention. Right. And some, for some that's a tantrum, right. They'll have to have temper tantrums for others. They learn how to, you know, do a cartwheel or, 
or sing and dance or tell a funny joke, right? They they learn that they can garner inf- they can garner attention from adults, from other people in their life when they have some type of a trick, okay? And I'm not saying that you've been trying to trick somebody, right? I feel like you've almost been that young child that has tried every single trick in the book. You know, you stood on your head, you learned how to sing a song, you learned how to tap dance, you know, (laughs) you learned how to draw, you know, a unicorn, (laughs) whatever it is, you know, like as a little child, you have truly attempted to make this person or this situation happy and you're understanding, wait a minute, why do I have to go above and beyond to try to get this person's attention? I'm just moving forward on my journey. I'm going in search of other people that want what I have without me having to do the tricks, right? Of just me being me. So let's take a look at your present energy. Bring love into the situation. And then you have two hermit cards, okay? Really interesting because both of those are an indication of going within, of understanding that you have given as much as you possibly could to this situation. But it's also about understanding your worth, going within and understanding you are worthy of more than what this situation is giving you. And then you have bring love into this situation. This is a sense of bringing love back to yourself, of understanding, you know, whether it's your boss or a relative or a friend or a romantic partner, right? They're, they're not seeing the love and light in you. They're not cherishing you. And so it's kind of like understanding, okay, I don't have to have it from this person because I already have it within me. I love myself enough that if somebody doesn't see me for who I truly am, it's time to move on, right? If they're expecting you to do the tricks, right? So your boss may want you to do the tricks of staying late or working on the weekend and not being, you know, compensated for it. If you have a romantic partner, right, they they may want you to give a lot more to the situation than you're getting back. It's this energy of, wait a minute, I am so much more worthy of what I'm getting in the situation. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at one time, this it truly was a situation or a relationship that you thought was destined for you. And it was, okay? But I feel you, like you also had high expectations. You thought the blessings were going to pour into your life because of this situation or relationship. But now you're moving. Nine of Pentacles, single lady card, but it's that energy of being the hermit, right? Of going within, of understanding, wait a minute, I have to... I have to go do this on my own because I'm not getting what I want out of this situation or relationship. It's time for me to go and find what it is that I want. Surrendering to the journey of learning what it is that you want for yourself. For some of you, you could have been focusing so much on what somebody else wanted that you lost yourself in the whole process. You know, sometimes we do that. We get, especially in romantic relationships, right? Sometimes with family relationships, we can get to this point where we're giving so much to the relationship, we don't even know who we are. I think you're going on with this, you know, North Node in Aries. You're you're embarking on this 18 months of of really kind of like stepping into this energy of what is it that I truly want for myself. Perhaps for some of you, it is something about traveling, right? Meeting new people, going in a direction of trying to find people. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I think you understand something has to end and giving yourself a cup of love, going in the direction that is the best for you. Because here's the thing, this relationship started out as the wheel of fortune feeling like there were blessings pouring down on you. And now the, it, you have this sense of just not feeling worth. This person doesn't help you to feel special, to recognize the specialness about you, the uniqueness. Yeah, it's really kind of, you know, I feel like you're getting your power back because you recognize this now. You know, you could have given this person, right, a lot of excuses, right? You could have walked on eggshells for a long time. There's this energy of, I think it's really sad. I think I, I don't think you're happy about having to walk away from this, but you also understand, I'd rather be by myself 
than to be with somebody that doesn't recognize who I am. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> it is so true. We can feel more alone when we are in a room filled with people than we can when we're by ourselves in a room, right? Because if we're in a room full of people and no one seems to see us, hear us, we feel like we're invisible in this situation. It actually makes us feel more alone than when we are truly alone, right? You can have a much better sense of happiness when you are by yourself than in a room full of people that don't see who you are, don't understand your love, your light. They, they just, it's almost as if they're looking through you. So I feel like this is something that maybe you feel since childhood you have felt you have perhaps had repeating patterns of this, but it's almost as if you could have allowed people, more, more and more people into your life trying to fulfill that sense of finding somebody that really cherishes you. And I think for some of you, you could have had a patterns of repeated patterns of behavior, either in romantic relationships or work situations or family situations. And now it's kind of like, okay, I think I would rather be by myself than feel alone when I'm in this room with people that don't get me, don't see me, don't cherish me. So let's see where this is going because your biggest area of, yeah, your biggest area of resistance is I feel like in work, you're having a hard time getting the prosperity to come in, right? You, you could be having a hard time concentrating, doing the things that you need to do on a daily basis that will help you to move forward, to surrender to this journey, to try to release control. So the chop wood is really kind of interesting energy here for your area of resistance. Um, I feel like emotionally, you could be kind of caught up in still trying to figure out why some people don't see you, don't understand you, right? And when we have that emotional drain, it is sometimes hard to take really good care of ourselves or to do those things that we know will help us to feel better about ourselves. We almost fall into you know, a self-prophesizing <laughs> situation where we actually start feeling worse about ourselves, right? Because it's almost as if, say you're married to somebody and they say, yeah, you know, you don't, you don't eat very healthy, you know, and, and, and they could, you know, they, or they criticize what you're eating or something like that. And you're feeling a little bit of a lack in the way that you're you're eating or perhaps maybe you have decided to take a healthy route okay in your diet and say you're going gluten-free or you know something like that say you want to go gluten-free and then this person is criticizing or ridiculing you for being gluten-free you know and it's this energy of they're trying to keep you small. They're trying to not allow you to spread your wings, to be the person that you really want to be, to be healthier, to be, you know, to move towards what it is that you, you have chosen to go gluten-free for a reason. They're not supporting that. So then it's all of a sudden you find yourself eating gluten right? And the reason is, is because you are not receiving the support that you want. It's one of the reasons why I feel like you, you're learning to know your worth. It's time to remove yourself from people that aren't seeing your worth, right? Aren't supporting you in whatever it is that you're wanting to do, whether it's eating gluten-free or starting a new business or a hobby or whatever. It's like, you know what? <laughs> I'd rather be on my own and be able to work on the things that I really want to work on because this doesn't have to be your career or job. It can be, but it can also be the progress that you're trying to make within yourself, the healing journey that you're doing on yourself and you're understanding that the people that are around you are not so 
supporting your spiritual path or perhaps you're trying to put more emphasis and focus on either your physical, mental, or emotional sectors of your life. And this person is just not allowing you to do the things that you need to do or they're making you feel guilty or shame or ridiculing you for what you are trying to do on a daily basis. Now, the reason they're doing that, Cancer, is usually because you're doing something that is making them feel less, um, less confident about themselves. They're feeling inferior to you. So instead of making changes in their own life, and I'm not saying they have to go gluten-free, maybe they want to make a change in some other area of their life. Instead of being inspired by you, instead they're trying to extinguish <laughs> your light. They're trying to say, no, you know, what are you doing? That's silly. Don't do that. So uh, this is kind of an interesting energy because, yeah, I feel like you're, you're, bringing, you're bringing balance back into your life because you understand that this is like the first step of really understanding your worth is removing people and situations in your life that are holding you back from those things that you would like to do, you know, and giving yourself a cup of love. Moving forward, looking, yeah, you ate it. Yeah, uh, actually, I think you have a sudden <laughs> epiphany and you suddenly decide. I wouldn't be surprised if this might happen next week. We have that new moon in Cancer in your sign, right? I'm just like, I have to go in a new direction, even if I'm by myself, okay? I'm happier to be by myself and to do the things that are going to help me to move towards my Nine of Cups. Yeah, really, um, wow. So for some of you, you could be thinking about quitting a job, quitting a career, leaving a relationship, moving somewhere new, like almost like spontaneously. Some people may say that's spontaneous, but you understand you're not in a place. You're not surrounded by people that are supporting you and the things that you want to do on a daily basis to become uh the wise one <laughs> right to become the person your higher your highest version of yourself wow okay so let's take a look at your um advice here communication is key six of wands and truth be told yes the truth here is what it is that you are wanting you know and understanding, maybe having a conversation with some people in your life and saying, you know, the truth of the matter is, you know, this is um, Gemini energy, I think. Yes, new moon in Gemini. Understanding that communicating to the people in your life. For some of you, you may not have communicated. You may have communicated, okay, I want to eat gluten-free, okay? Or you're telling your boss, you may be communicating to your boss, I want to leave at 6 o'clock every day. And your boss is kind of like, well, why? You've been working till seven. Why all of a sudden, you know, and you're just kind of like, well, you only pay me until five. I'm still working overtime, right? But maybe you want to be home for dinner with your family, or maybe you want to stop at the gym on the way home. There's, you're taking back some of your time or energy in order to truly work on yourself. Because I feel like you're feeling, you're not feeling your, your highest vibrational self. And you're understanding that there are people and situations in your life that are bringing you down, not allowing you to do those spiritual practices or physical practices, mental, emotional practices that will help you to be the highest version of yourself. So the first step is communication. Have you clearly explained to some people, if you don't want to wake, walk away from a job or a situation or a relationship, have you had the a communication and you communicated why this is important it's not about well i want to go to the gym okay i mean if this is a situation you want to keep into your life right if this isn't then you're walking away but for some of you it is about making sure you have taken the time to communicate why this is important to you you know you could say hey you know this is really important to me I want to start eating healthier because I want to be able to live longer, right? <laughs> to enjoy my grandchildren, to stay active. And I feel like this is something that I really want to do. All I'm asking is that you support me. You're not asking anybody to do it for you. You're just asking for their support. 
Now, if you've had these talks, right, or maybe possibly, you know, a, a few times, then you're understanding somebody's not listening to what's important to you. They're not valuing you. They're not valuing what is important to you. And so you're telling your truth and you're moving forward towards the victory. You're, you're saying, I have to leave this situation because I have to go over, I have to go after what my heart desires. You see how the owl there, and that's the wise one, that is you, Cancer. The window is open to your heart, right? You're telling someone, I have to move towards what is really important to me. I have to go on this journey. I have to go towards what is going to help me be the highest version of myself. Yeah, this is just a soul evolution journey, you know, personal growth, you know, we call it a lot of different things, but it is the journey of, you know, surrendering to what lies ahead and not trying to control it. It could be that you maybe have tried to make some changes and you've been trying to control the people or situations in your life, right? Um, in a way so that you can have what it is that you want, but you're understanding, okay, the truth of the matter is these people perhaps don't actually understand what is really important to you. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you're definitely going on the journey. You know, after a long time of just surrendering, uh, I'm not surrendering, of defending your position. The seven of wands is defending why you want something, why you want to do whatever it is that you want to do, why it's important to you. You're allowing yourself to give yourself this cup of love, allowing yourself, giving yourself permission to love yourself enough to go on this journey even though you don't know where it's going, stepping into this new world and then look at this, you have the Hierophant, the Queen of Pentacles and then your energy. Wow, the chariot. Moving forward very quickly because you're understanding, you're putting so much time and energy into something or trying to convince somebody why this is important to you, right? That it's draining your energy. You're like, oh my goodness, I don't have time for this. I have something to go do, right? <laughs> and you're just putting your, your all of your time, energy, love into what it is that you want to accomplish or what it is that you are trying to create in this world. Yeah, beautiful energy. All right, so uh, let, Cancer, let's pull a soul truth card for you. And I do do personal readings, so if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. What am I most afraid of losing? That's the reason you haven't left yet. Is because you're you're you know, you're afraid of losing something. Instead of focusing on where you're going and what it is that you desire in your life, you're focusing on what you may lose. You know, the people, the situations, the financial stability, whatever it is, those are things to look at. I'm not saying you dismiss that. But put more time and energy into where you are going, okay? Because it will help you to move forward. As we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? Okay, now I'm going to come back to this because it says you have the power to give everything you need to yourself. Is that not the hermit energy, right? Understanding, I think that you have with the 54, the nine, the nine of wands, right? You have for a very long time, okay, trying to garner validation, love, whatever, right? <laughs> From other people. You, you've been the little kid that has done every trick in the book trying to get people to understand why you're, you want something in your life. You have a goal or a dream in mind. Understanding that you don't need permission, you don't need validation, you don't need you know, you don't need other people to think that this is a good idea. All you need is for you to think it's a good idea. All you need is for you to want to go forward, to give yourself the permission <laughs> to go on this path. 
Wow. It's a beautiful energy, Cancer, and especially on, you know, the cusp of the new moon in Cancer and um, uh, the North Node, in Air North Node in Aries, both of them happening on Monday. Wow, what a beautiful crossroads for you. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I do wish you so much love and light, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.